Right everyone, Weapon Electric here. Thought I'd do a video on some sort of easy to make and easy to carry body armour. Basically this is what you'd call backpack body armour or bag body armour. Um, stab protection I'd say. This is more for um, stab protection because to make um, bulletproof stuff is a lot harder. But to make stab proof stuff reasonably easy. In fact, there's lots of stuff you can just get from your house that could be stab proof. You know, that's not a hard thing. So I'll go over a couple of things that I could think of and the ideas. I'll go over the idea first. The actual idea is you don't have to wear this armour. You've got it on you though, so you could almost use it like a shield. So the idea really is to carry some, some sort of armour in a bag. So whether it's a record bag like this, nice square record bag, or a backpack, standard backpack on your back, but again could be held up like a shield, you know, your arm through the straps like a shield, if it came to it. And then um, you know even a woman's bag you can uh, put some armour in that and you know and then a woman can use that as a shield so things you would want to put in it there's a couple of options you can buy stuff or you can make stuff and I'll show you a test of one of the ideas I had and I'll show you some first so let's go over the one that you can make so what I thought of because I know they're quite good is magazines all this is, is four magazines. Don't need to put them in clean film like this, but I did just so they stayed together. What I like about the magazine idea is that it doesn't look weird. Someone looks in your bag and they just find four magazines like that. They're not going to say anything. It doesn't look odd. Whereas all of the stuff I'm going to recommend is legal to use, legal to carry. Some of it might look a bit odd if you're carrying it around, but looking odd doesn't matter. You know, if it saves your life, who cares what it looks like if someone looks in your bag. But magazines, they can't say anything about it, you know, and it doesn't look weird. So, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll show you my test on this right now. So that was the test. You can see it. This hold up good. Let's open this up quickly, and then we'll see, you know, how deep they actually went. But uh, I'm thinking it didn't go in that deep. Definitely didn't go through. So we'll open this up. So went through one, went through two, and then just ever so slightly into the third one so you could just have three magazines and these aren't particularly big ones either you could probably have two thick ones them four magazines together weighed about 1.4 kilograms so it's not overly heavy you know i don't think it's too heavy to bother you one other thing about magazines that i noticed that once you'd stamped it in it's quite hard to get it out so it goes in, 
doesn't go all the way through, gets, the knife gets stuck, you know, and I think even if the knife went right through, I don't think it would go like deep in and it would get stuck anyway, you know. That's just an option. If you, if you don't trust it, test it yourself. But I know that magazines or paper stop knives and crossbows and that pretty well, better than you'd expect. Other options are you could buy some body armour and instead of carrying it, uh, wearing it, sorry, you can take one of the panels off and put that in your bag. Put that inside the bag as the protection, you know, and you've got some body armour on you that you can hold up as a shield. You could, I reckon you could probably actually put the, both panels in upside down like that in a bag and have it in the bag, you know what I mean? But again, someone's going to know what that is if they look at it. Not illegal though or anything like that, but just looks weird and, you know, people sort of frown upon things like that, you know. But perfectly legal to carry, you know. But you could just put one of those panels in. One thing I'd say about certain body armour is people think bulletproof is the same as stab proof. It's not. Bulletproof does not protect you that well against knives. It will, but bulletproof Kevlar is nowhere near as good at stopping a knife as a stab proof Kevlar vest is. Now you can get vests, you can get panels. This is a stab proof panel. I've never been able to stab through this. I've never been able to get through it with a crossbow. I even shot it with a 410 shotgun. Didn't go through. This is the num this is the the lowest rate in knife and spike and you still can't get through it so you could get better even stronger panels than this this panel is or was about 60 quid to buy it's 5 by 8 you can get a 10 by 12 one that would fit perfectly in a bag for I think 120 quid I had links to that if anyone's interested in that so that's another option another thing I thought of which everyone has in their home is chopping board now this isn't as thick as what I would use. I would use something as thick as this. It's about half an inch HDPE chopping board. You could cut it to size and chopping board that thick you would not stab through that. And it doesn't weigh a lot either. Again, might look a bit weird while you're carrying a chopping board around. But no one can stop you doing that. If you want to carry a chopping board around, they can't stop you. You know, it's not as eager to carry a piece of plastic in your bag. You know. Just, like I said, just frowned upon. People just think it's odd. So yeah, HDPE chopping boards. You can even get them in different colours to match your bag if you wanted to. You know what I mean? But I would recommend something about that thick. That is just a demo of uh, something you can use. So, that's the stuff I've got on me at the minute. But you could also use 12mm ply. You know, a bit of 12mm ply. Even a bit of um, five mil aluminium plate. All these things would work in a backpack. But I think the two best options or the three best options is probably the, the dedicated body armour or the magazines. The magazines are probably the best one for looking inconspicuous. If someone looks in your bag, it is literally just four magazines. You know. You could even put them in like a Ziploc bag if you wanted to, just so they're held together. But yeah, it withstands it and I've tested magazines and catalogues on crossbows as well. And uh, they struggle to get through it. You'll be surprised how strong layers of paper is really. Yeah, that is an option so you can carry some kind of armour with you. Matt is basically a shield, so you can carry a shield with you. In and it's just in any kind of bag, really. You know, you can buy. I've seen you can get like dedicated bag uh, panels for bags, for like children's bags. But this is the the easier way or the cheaper way to do it anyway. Yeah. So um, I hope you found that useful. If you've got any ideas yourself, put them down in the comments. Don't forget to like, comment and share and subscribe. And yeah, 
See you later. Right, before you leave, if you ever wanted to support this channel, you can now via Patreon or by shopping at Amazon.com and Gearbest. There's more info below if you need that. Remember, if you want to get full notifications for this channel, click the bell. And uh, I'll see you later. Cheers.